Okay, YouTubers, it's Sunday. Let's do some car stuff. All right, what I want to do today is summer's coming in Southern California. You don't want any heat whatsoever in your cab. And this heater core is always flowing. Yeah, so I got a nice 5 8 shutoff ball valve. These are great. They just quarter turn. I'm going to put that in line. But what I've run into here is if you can see it what I did is I did it like everyone else I looked at a picture on Google of how these are to be routed routed rooted <clears throat> and um, the 5 8 nipple is, should be on the intake and the 3 quarter on the water pump the 5 8 is your feed now I thought you'd want as much feed as possible so I have a 3 quarter hose which is wrong. So I guess you want the 5 eighths maybe to get a little pressure to the bottom of your heater core. So they want the heater core to fill up and dissipate heat, not like a radiator. So it should be the bottom hose. Uh, these are swapped and it took me a minute. I was looking at it. Let me just bring you over there. And I was like, well, why every heater core I look at is it, uh, look different. Well, my hoses are stretched. This, you can see this is giant and this one is stretched. So my 5 8 is on the bottom, but they have them stretched and swapped. So that's my dilemma there. So, and I have to swap because of that. I had the nipples swapped over here. So I have my big fat three quarter nipple on the intake. And then I got my 5 8 So I got to swap those two nipples, swap those two hoses, Probably have to cut them back because they're stretched and then put in my ball valve maybe over here somewhere, somewhere neat. But um, he also can run on heavy duty cooling, which is had because it's a big block with AC, or it was a big block. This the three quarter hose goes right to the radiator here. Um, but somebody has capped that off. So I could go right to the radiator and then put a plug on my water pump return. Um, that's another option and they did that with heavy-duty cooling and AC probably for better something flow better so I don't know if I have a plug I'll do that otherwise I don't think I do let me go look all right got a plug I found one that I probably took out of it's the orange paint oh it was on the side where I put my temp sensor yeah so I think that's gonna be the same Either way, I gotta get this hose off. So let's get that hose off. Got my radiator pick tool. I highly recommend you pick up one of these. And I got a drain pan underneath. Radiator pick tool. Radiator hose pick tool. Oops, this is gonna make a mess no matter what, but whatever. That's part of the fun. I might just let that drain slow for a minute. I don't really want to drain the radiator because this is... I could drain half of it, I guess. Yeah, either way, this is going to be a mess. Let's get that drained. I'll go get my white... Actually, I already got it here. I got my thread lock. Thread sealant. Oh, don't fall. Pull it out. And um, I had to get a wrench, see if I can get that out of there. I, I put that in there not long ago, so it should be fine. Well, that's interesting. If I loosen the cap, it starts flowing out. If I put the radiator cap back on, I get no flow. So that's kind of nice, so I can change this without making a mess. I mean, I made a mess and launched out all over the intake already, but... Uh, let's see, is that a good thing? Why is it... I guess it's got, it's a good seal, so it's not letting flow. Shouldn't that radiator cap vent? No, I guess not. There's no pressure on it. Hmm. Interesting, either way. 
I hope this plug I have is the right size. Either way, this is going to come out because this is the large. This is the 5 eighths. Yes, yeah, it's the smaller. The 5 eighths has to go into the intake. That's the feed to the heater core. And I swapped these at one point because, like I said, I went, like most people, just looked at a picture on Google and somebody else had it wrong too. And not only just one picture, there were like five or six. <laughs> but I finally found somebody in a forum who explained that this is this is a return I knew that because the water pump think about your water pump it's an impeller you want to push into the uh, into the pump into the block so this must be on the suction side so it's gonna suck everything yeah that's the same good cool so clean this up white tape it and swap this over. Sweet. All right, she's a little wet still, but I think it's okay. I think I've put this stuff in wet before. I don't think, I think that's how it works. That's why it's wicked awesome. Here's those parrots. A little fun fact for California. We have parrots here, wild. They, um, I was just reading this the other day actually. There's a story that they, from a pet shop that had fire and they escaped. And, and then there's a story of a truck that overturned. And none that can be verified, but it's a good story. And they're saying that these are from Mexico, where they're kind of almost extinct down there because of so much deforestation and whatnot. So they think I think they said there's three thousand here in Los Angeles and that's helping the population. Because there's only about three thousand there. Where they used to be double maybe. So some useless information for you guys today, bird lovers. Alright that looks cool. Yeah that's gonna be fine. If it leaks, we can do it again. That's all. Alright, let's jump up to our other one. Take that clamp. So we're gonna move this guy up here. 5 eighths is gonna go up there. Get you a better, better angle for that. This one's probably gonna make a mess too of my intake. I'm gonna have coolant everywhere. I freaking hate coolant. Everyone hates coolant, right? Such a pain to clean up and drop the carburetor cleaner. Yeah, it just gets all over everything and then it's like sticky to walk in. Alright, so three quarter. Prop you up so you don't leak anymore. Let's get you off. Here is seven eighths as well. Now, how much difference does this make on heat for me? Probably doesn't freaking matter. I use the heater in this, or I will use the heater in this thing. A couple months, maybe. Well, who knows? Might travel. We could rather have uh, the best heat possible. And I think whoever, if I ever do sell this truck, maybe they'll want the same thing. Okay, after this, the, uh, curious to, yeah, that, those heater hoses are all stretched. Like, I couldn't figure it out, because every picture on the internet showed the heater core. I'm like, why is mine backwards? I got, like, a weird heater core? Like, the, the pipes are in the wrong place. The small ones on the top should be on the bottom and I start looking at the hoses and I'm like oh they're stretched over the fittings which is how they were over here too that's why I ended up swapping these because they had the wrong hoses uh, stretched so all right let me do this this is boring I like this stuff I like the liquid 
It's all I ever use in the shop. I don't know if plumbers use it. I think they still use tape. So that's still wet, but it's coolant as you can see, but I think it is gonna be fine. Well, yeah, right, let's get that tightened up. When in doubt, get the socket. Be dicking around. No time for this. Nobody got no time for this. And here's that block off on the radiator I was talking about. So this is where the return goes when you have heavy duty cooling. Big four core radiator. Oh good, we're already, we're already low enough. So, this is now going to be my three-quarter return. It's got some nice uh, RTV on there or something. Maybe it was leaking. Let's get a good look at this, make sure it's not cracked or anything. Here's the RTV on the back side here. Did I just uncover a mess? Is that why this is <laughs> plugged up? totally would be leaking if that was the case. Right? Oh, Jesus. Now, it's the pressure and the heat. There's no way RTV would hold. You gotta solder. I think it's just a mess what was on there. Alright. So, three-quarter hose. We'll go here. I'm definitely gonna cut these lengths. Everything's real long. Now we're gonna move over to that mess there. Let's see if I can get you a better shot of why it's fucked up. Alright, I pulled my clamps back so you could see. It looks to me, you can see it on camera, but this is stretched over a three-quarter fitting. And this is fatty is squeezed tight over the five-eighths fitting. So they have these on the wrong. How do you do? So let's see if I can wrestle them off without breaking any solder. Here's the three quarter. Bingo! That is a 5 8 See the size of my pinky. That's a 5 8 I'm just going to cut this because I need I have extra hose and it's really stretched on there. So I'm just going to cut it and make my life easier. All right, nice clean cut. I got rid of that. Super stretched. I don't think these hoses are that old. Maybe when they did the engine swap, who knows. But the question is why? Why did they do this? Being a detective slash mechanic, which is what we are. They had those stretched that way. And then they had the stretched on the nipples this end too. So why didn't they just put them... I'll tell you why. They probably looked at Google. And the routing was the same picture I saw and decided, oh no, it's got to go there. But, or maybe they were thinking the principles of a car radiator. Anyway, point of the story, 5 eighths for your engine intake, your block is your feed, fills the bottom of a heater core, fills it up, the return comes either to the water pump, to that suction plug, or heavy duty cooling goes right to the radiator. I'm gonna go heavy duty, and then uh, I'm also gonna splice in this ball valve into the 5 8 feed line. All right, those are on temporarily. This is gonna be in this clamp, or it used to be. It doesn't really fit. Does it, that clamp's made for two 5 8 lines or something? I don't know. It appears to be fat. Factory, I think is the word, factory. So I think a nice clean look will be to put my ball valve back here after. Uh, they'll, you know, they'll be coolant in the line, but it won't be going to my heater core. So let's do that. Let's pick a spot here and dice it up. All wrapped up, road tested, pressure tested, no leaks. good in there. I'll just clamp those up. I had to go to bigger clamps on here. And those little ones weren't uh, holding up. 
They were dainty 99 cent store ones. Over here to my big fatty over there. This is good. To our 5 8 Still got some water on the intake. I mean, when I cleaned up. But uh, check the. This, this now this this hose only gets hot till here, even though the valve is way up there. So it it must just back up. So it just stays hot there. So that's good. There's no flow, and then this is cool until um, you get no flow basically. So that's always cool. So this is just engine, no heater core, no heat. I open the valve, and now I got heat all the way through. You can feel it inside, of course, too. So. That's proper rooting, guys. I'll put a little picture in here of the diagram uh, at the end of this video. I don't say this anymore, really, but you gotta like, comment, subscribe. Help a brother out. If you're on your TV, go to that little menu button. Yeah, hit pause. Menu comes up. And there's like some lines over here. On my TV, anyway. And that's where you can go like, comment, subscribe. A lot of people watch on TV now, so... All right, thanks, guys.